don't get me too close to the edge. So during our trip to Vancouver, which was scheduled to be for a week with two days in Victoria, I realized that I become completely saturated after three days in a city. So last minute, we decided to uh, book a, an overnight to Whistler. So we are off to Whistler. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much. Hopefully it doesn't snow because I did not pack for that kind of weather. Did you? I packed for all seasons. Oh my God. And you tell me to pack for all seasons and then, and then I don't. I have a rain jacket. I have my trusty Stan Smiths, but really light socks. So this should be interesting. So we made it to Shannon Falls, which is just outside of Squamish on the Sea to Sky Highway. Popular stop is Shannon Falls. We're gonna go check that out. And it should be a quick one. And then we'll be back on the road. Any sushi place that's open at 11 a.m. I like it. We are now here at Brandywine Falls. We are it's like halfway between Squamish and Whistler and we've actually seen a couple of the same people who stopped at Shannon Falls stopping here. Very <laughs> popular, very easy access. Both of them look like they're perfect for anyone and to get this. This is a very this is the nicest hotel we've had in months, I think. I mean it's definitely the largest. It's definitely I mean the largest. I mean modern. this this closet might be bigger than our room in Paris and the bathroom. Zeke, I can take a bath while you take a shower. Wow. Holy Toledo and there's a door over there and you'll enjoy that. <laughs> so yeah this is all points on which our Capital One card. Capital One card. So I know a lot of people emphasize cards and we don't do as much, but this one worked out for us. Yeah, so I guess this does make us a Lux traveler, but just to let you know, our dinner is in this bag from the grocery store and it's like carrots and hummus. We're trying to make better decisions. We're trying to make better decisions. Oh, and our view's kind of nice. I mean, Whistler's kind of pretty. Zeke, what do we got going on here? Uh, snacks slash dinner. 
Oh, look at that. What is what is that fancy knife you have there? Uh, it's super sharp. You gotta wash your fingers. It's made out of bamboo. Is that what you said? Yeah, it comes in my handy dandy little set. You are ready for anything. It's all. We are heading out and then we will get some lunch somewhere before we head back to Vancouver. And yeah. we are now going to use their e-bikes, which are complimentary, to go for a ride. We actually have some sunshine outside, but there's still clouds. I haven't seen the top of Mount Whistler or Black Home yet. mountain biking in Whistler. These are some fat tires on this e-bike. Um, how's the turning radius, Seek? A little different. Big fat tires, it's a little different. But a lot of fun, great paths. Uh, nice little lake back here. This is Lost Lake. I think we're gonna head up to Green Lake. Zeke, is this the adventure you've been looking for? This was uh, in, in the vein of what uh, adventure gets means me, to you. Exactly, adventure. And how about you on your first e-bike mountain biking ride? This is a lot of fun. I could do this again because I'm going through the woods. I like being on the single track spot. I'm going fast. Um, my biggest fear is just kind of getting hurt because I don't have a lot of great success on two wheel or inline vehicles, skates, etc. But no, I mean, I miss snow skiing, but I'm so afraid of getting hurt at this point. I probably shouldn't be taking up e mountain bike riding at 54, but I can, I can totally see doing this. So when we're up in Tahoe, at the end of July, maybe we should check this out. But we need to remember that adventure means different pe things to different people. Of course. Like for me, this was an adventure. This definitely got me outside my comfort zone. But it got you excited. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I can, I can dig this. So the other thing about it is I don't mind being out in the wilderness. It's just hiking is so slow. <laughs> the Four Seasons bubble after a super fun e-bike ride. Got and now it's lunchtime. Now it's lunchtime. On. And then we'll be back on the road and hopefully we can see the top of the mountain and do the Sea to Sky Gondola because that's the adventure I want next. Onward. Well, we have enjoyed our short stay in Whistler. We are now heading south and I think we've got some reasons to come back. Yeah, absolutely, including the museum that's behind us because <laughs> Art from the All Seasons Cafe suggested that we go to the museum, but the clock someone's is not letting me go to a museum. We've seen plenty of museums. We're trying to balance out the equilibrium. Is there a day that go by that we're never going to use these binoculars? 
So somewhere out there are the Tantalus Mountains. We learned all about them on the Guide Along app. And we stopped at this particular point right after we passed Bob, the big orange bridge. For those of you who are non-locals and want to understand why it's called Bob, the big orange bridge. And if you see it, you'll understand why. Um, and apparently, not only is that one of the mountains called Tantalus, the mountain range is called the Tantalus Range, but apparently wife and daughters and kids are some of the smaller peaks out there. Oh. Were you not listening as we were going on with the Guide Along app? I, I heard that it was the Tantalus because they're tantalizing for rock climbers to go climbing. high up after the gondola ride, which was actually fun. And we're about to go across the suspension bridge and my um, stomach is pretty much up into my throat right now. Okay, so no bouncing on the suspension bridge. I've tried riding bikes across with several of these in New Zealand and uh, they weren't tethered off and you ended up crashing into the side. I don't think we're gonna have that problem today, <laughs> but I'll have the camera rolling just in case. But it is an absolutely spectacular view. Still can't see the top of the mountain. I'm going to put my phone in my pocket. <laughs> and zip it up. And zip it up because this freaks me out. A little bit of bounce. Not too bad. Go. Oh no, there's somebody. I'm going to have to move over to the edge. <laughs> I'm not looking down. <laughs> God, I don't need to do an Indiana Jones or whatever it is where the bridge breaks. We should, I take your, should I take your pulse? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, there's our little bridge right there. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. okay. That, Pictures and good. then back and then we're done. <laughs> You got a little loop at the top here, 250 meters long. A little bit of a grade climb, but it's pretty, it's well situated. really easy. Very nice, and some incredible views. But we still can't see the top of the mountain. So that is what's up there somewhere. So I hope I'm not going to regret this, but I saw a sign for the Panorama Trail, and then one of the guys running the gondola overheard me say something. He's like, Yeah, I really recommend it and we have binoculars. <laughs> that was definitely a hike, even though it said a walk. It was a hike. I'll give you that. And it was a really great one. And what made it fun and interesting is there are all these little cutouts for you to go and take pictures, look for things. We didn't see any birds, but we heard the sooty grouse. Yeah. Hi, Zeke, by the way. Wait. Terry, yeah. nice to meet you. I, I met a person <laughs> that uh, likes mountain biking and hiking in the same day. I don't know who this is. I, I, it's, it's all new. We have to change the name of the channel. But now I have sap in my hand. Do you smell it? It yep. actually smells really good. It doesn't smell like our sap at home. Get out. Get dirty. Get wild. So I just bought some postcards for some of our subscribers and then I bought myself a sticker covering the same thing. And the kid in there who's probably our kid's age said, oh, bold choice. And that's when I realized his parents are the same age as us and are not traveling as much as he'd like them to. So I think rather than targeting people our age, I'm going to target their kids who want them to get their parents to get the hell out and go on adventure. Ah. Kind of like what we just did today. By the way, 10 out of 10 recommend the Sea to Sky Gondola. 
so fun. If you want a short version, this is it. This is, you can probably do this in two hours. Ton of fun. Seventy dollars, seventy-two dollars a person. Canadian. Canadian. Uh, kids are probably less. If you buy it ahead of time, you might be able to get a better deal ahead of time on the internet. Um, if you want an all-day version, that'd be up in Whistler. That's going to be $100 per person, and you get three gondolas and the peak to peak, and on and on and on. But but I think that ends up being a full-day experience. Whereas right. this, you can do Victoria to Shannon Falls, which is right there, to this to see the sky gondola, go hike around, enjoy a beer overlooking the gorgeous valley, mm -hmm. and then um, go up, have lunch in Squamish, go do Brandywine Falls. Head up to Whistler, do dinner, walk around, and then head back to Vancouver. It'd be like a really great day trip. It's a big day trip. And uh, yeah, we probably could have saved some money purchasing in advance, but we really didn't know what our schedule was. But really, I think it was 150 Canadian with parking, less than two hours. Yeah. Awesome. 10 out of 10, I recommend. I'd also imagine that in the height of summer, this might be a little busier. So uh, keep, keep that in mind as well. But bring your binoculars. You might be, you're gonna hear the... Sooty grouse. And then hopefully you might be able to see it. Or you can go on the panoramic walk slash hike and use Beautiful. your binoculars to see some of the birds that they point out in the little placards. Canada, you do an awesome job with your parks. We are really impressed. As someone with a short attention span, I like all of these little things to do along the way.